And we're back <laughs> with another Chicago uh, Beer Pass uh, beer review. Back to back. We just, uh, if you missed it, if, or if you didn't check it out, we just opened up uh, the regular Dark Secret. They're Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. Yes, Evan Hill. Evan Hill barrels. And now we're diving into their Stout aged in bourbon barrels and maple syrup barrels. Right. Wait, what? Made with our friends at Bliss Maple Syrup. Yeah. So, of course, Bliss is the crew that um, I think they first got notoriety from, what, uh, CBS? Canadian Breakfast Out? Okay. So those were uh, whiskey barrels that then held bourbon. I'm sorry. Whiskey barrels that held maple syrup and then held beer after that. Okay. Do these get... Well, this is even darker than the other one. Uh, Do these get blended with the Heaven Hill barrels and the maple syrup barrels? Or are they all... Maple syrup barrels. That's a good question. Yeah. I want to know that, and I want to know the inspiration for some of their um, mainline cans, too. Because, you know, <laughs> they actually do the, um, the Chicago Auto Show is in town. Yeah. And then they also um, they do the official beer for the McCormick Place. Oh. Uh-huh. Is the Brickstone guys. And it's got that, that same classic kind of like, I don't know, Art Deco 1930s kind of like, you know, vibe. Mm, okay. Right? Like when the World's Fair was here. Yeah. The, a lot of their cans kind of have that vibration, you know. Okay, so yeah, we don't know if this is a blend or whatnot. Uh, this was probably also canned around the same time this one had. It was canned on next birthday in November. Okay. So this was probably uh, around then. Like, there's no date on this can. Um, so it might have been actually earlier because maybe the can code came later. Yeah. It's tough to say. Um, but that would be weird to... I don't know. This was all planned because both of these were a Black Friday release. We really should have drank these with Josh and got him to tell us the all details the on yeah. this. Yeah. Because yeah, he's, got, he's got a curious nature. I think he would have yeah. just told us all, this, all the right. things. Right. Uh, but this poured out, I think, darker, right? Than the previous beer. We got no head. You got me. I wish I would have had. Uh, yeah, where's my... Yeah, it's definitely not the same. Yeah. The other one was more of an experience. Like, ooh, look at... <laughs> Like, look at this, like, you know, to get this, like, really cool head that didn't dissipate and also just kind of, like, rains down mm-hmm. on the glass. Look at that. This one has that motor oil thing. If you've ever, the first time maybe you had Dark Lord, you were like, oh, it's motor oil. Yeah. And this has that kind of feel to it. Like, it is staining the glass, basically. Yeah. But the aroma... Similar to the Dark Secret, you get that uh, bitter chocolate. Um, you said tobacco and that. A little sweeter, though, like a pepper. Yeah, and then, like, I'm anticipating, like, the um, the chocolate-covered cherries, maraschino cherries that have, like, mm-hmm. kind of the, the cherry, but then, like, the syrupy cherry like, yeah. essence in it, too. Yeah, yeah. It, it smells sweeter. Like I feel like my mouth is all already salivating from like that aroma of the sweetness and like in preparation for it. Yeah, but, the, um, the 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 oak and the booze take a back seat. This is really like dessert forward on the on the aroma. Oh wow! Yeah, mm-hmm. diving in. It is it is way sweeter. It's less creamy. It's yeah. It's more syrup. It you know it's maple syrup barrels so of course it's going to be more syrupy but it does feel like you drizzled it on something right oh, whoa it's really pleasant yeah like yeah like i'm not i'm not off put by any one thing like the syrup plays quite nicely with the heat yeah like i just i love i love the harmony on this but if we were saying uh, if you saw the other video or if you watched them back-to-back, we were talking about the Dark Secret. You could drink this right out of the can. Like, you could have this. No questions. Like, it's going to be nice and creamy. This, whew, this is going to take you some time to drink. Yeah. You're, it's a sipper. It's Ooh. sticky. Digestif. Yeah. Whew, this is the end of night. Uh, yeah. Give me a good 12 hours here kind of beer. <laughs> Man. But it's fun, uh, especially seeing other breweries take another twist on this maple syrup. Uh, you know, you usually only see that from Founders. And, you know, if you can 
have other offerings to founders these days. I know a lot of people are more than welcoming to yeah, that. Also, also that part, right? <laughs> then you got the uh, the black on black can, which uh-huh. I'm really digging. Yeah, and then this is um this is a straightforward dessert interpretation of a barrel aged stout, and then that one has a little more of those traditional like bourbon characteristics, mm-hmm. and this is more like it's you know it's a pastry. It's it's pastry for without being like you know like intentional, right? You know, yeah. It's like the this was back when beer beer was pure, man. <laughs> this is this is how beer this is how pastry stouts were before like actual fucking like slabs of dessert was tossed in, uh, your beer. right? Yeah. You just kind of let like the barrel and whatever was there do the talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, um, this is nice a though. this is a lot of beer getting released in Chicago for. Black Friday these days, right? You have the yeah. Goose Island crew who does their thing. You have these Brickstone beers. Uh, I believe Microphone has a beer that they put out either that day or the day before, right? Yeah. Or Wednesday. And then Rev just takes like a whole f- four-month approach. Right. And but then uh, this year, Off Color had a beer that they came out with. I think Procrats came mm-hmm. out that day. Yeah. This is just a lot. Like I love oof. that. I love that. You know, Black Friday is like you know, yeah. The options, the options are more reflective of the scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's not like getting in line for one or two brands. Like everybody's kind of throwing their hat in the ring for for some Black Friday action. Yeah, a few of these should get on the like Blackout Friday. Like, oh, like the one the, the Wednesday before. So yeah. then you could buy this beer and take it to Thanksgiving with your family. I feel like. Goose Island would benefit from that. So would Brickstone. Like these beers are meant to be shared, and you could That's true. You get introduce busy. your family to craft beer. Yeah, and you get busy at a really cool event on on Black Wednesday at a place that does uh, on and off premise, mm-hmm. and then you know you you party with all the Black Friday releases, and then you get out of there with something. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'd I'd be down for that. That's a good call. Yeah. Put them out on Wednesday. Creep that that Thanksgiving creep, right, or that shopping creep, or whatever they like to call it. But man, if I had to pick the, I would grab the regular. Yeah. Ditto. Just uh, if I saw them, I'd be like, okay, I'll take that. Like, just level of drinkability and sweetness, and yeah. Yeah, this is fun. Um, but the uh, the OG Dark Secret has a lot of moves. Yeah, mm-hmm. it has a lot of moves, and it's got that base of having like you know, um, what is it like a like a roasted kind of? It's got a roasted vibe. Yeah. Do they have the? Do you know if they have it's the regular a, stout? It's got a roasted vibe. It's got a roasted vibe. Do they have the regular stout? <laughs> is it called Dark Secret? That's like, a good what's question. the regular stout like, do called? Do they ever showcase a base beer? Like, where's our Big John? Right. Crap, we got a lot of questions. Yeah. Josh, write in. Yeah. Call in. Let us know. Yeah. He doesn't even listen though. No, he's like, so um, <laughs> what's, what's the for- he's like, so what's the format today? He might listen because we're talking about Brickstone County. Yeah, but then that let me know, like, hey, like when we post, sometimes we post and it goes straight to the video feed, but then sometimes we have to post, I guess, and have it go straight to the audio feed too, right? Uh, for the like, I mean, like if I post something there. Yeah. For the video? Yeah. No, not for the video, but like on the show. Like this isn't an audio piece. This is an audio. This, this is, is straight video. This is video, but yeah. Some some of the things we do are an audio show that happens to have video. Right. Yeah. But then like I think sometimes all I do is post the video piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. So sometimes I got to post the audio piece. Like yeah. just the audio piece. Okay. So people can know it's an audio show. Right. There we go. Yes. We look better in audio. <laughs> 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 uh. Especially when we're the only ones drinking when everyone else who's watching has not been drinking. That's fair. (laughs) All right. We're going to sip on the maple dark secret and we're going to get out of here. Uh, Some fun uh, beer reviews. We got a a lot of other stuff in the cellar. We got that Procrats I mentioned. We got more of the Cruz Blanca beers. Those are so good. We got more of those to dive into. So keep a lookout. We'll be coming back with some new stuff soon. Take care. Cheers.